What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. And if you were hoping for what sold without a whole bunch of Barbies in it, it's not this one. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Yeah, we are still slinging Barbies here at the mountain, guys. Those are moving and moving quickly. We spent $720 on a bunch of Barbies last week. Listed all but uh, two of them on Saturday. I think I had listed a couple before that, but mostly they all got listed on Saturday. And they're selling like crazy. Uh, we are now, this is Tuesday evening. So really, we're just uh, a handful of days after these things have been listed. I've already made just over $1,300 gross on those Barbies. Now, of course, we paid $720 for them, right? So it was a pretty significant layout to get them. Uh, but after fees and after our initial buy-in, we're sitting at about $425 profit or so right now. There's still a $90 Barbie waiting out there that hasn't been paid. I've got I've got lots of others here. We're looking at about somewhere, depending on the offers that I take and that sort of thing, we're looking at between $1,200 and $1,400, I think, uh, for, our, uh, for our net profit. It's pretty good. I'll take that. And so this what sold there's a lot of Barbies in it. So we'll jump right in. The first one, actually one that was sitting for a while, they hadn't paid and they came through. Of course, it was the smaller of the two, but I'll still take it. It's still a sale. Western Fun Kia, this one going to Italy for $25 plus shipping. And then we've got this East End Reflex uh, Slow Pitch Bat. Not a Barbie, but still a nice sale. Picked this up for, I think it was 3 or $4 this summer at a garage sale, and it sold for $50.24 plus shipping. And shipping a baseball bat, guys, just like shipping a lot of golf clubs, very, very easy. Those triangular tubes that you get from the USPS free on their website work perfect. Goes right in there, and it's a pretty cheap ship, frankly, for most stuff. So that's what we did with that softball bat. And then we start getting into the Barbies. Uh, Cruella de Vil, I've got four of these. Uh, one of them sold to France for $46.89 plus international shipping. And then we've got Dance Club Barbie. This is Devin, actually, with the jean jacket. This is a cool one. Sold to Spain, 55 euros after shipping, after fees, all that. We're looking at about a $35 profit on that one. Kong versus Piranodon. This one is a good sale. I got this one from a whole bunch of toys that I bought from Brian, Mr. Buys a Lot, and I knew this was going to be a good one. This is one of the reasons I bought the lot. This one, and there was actually a G.I. Joe Sinbad in there that uh, I saw. Those were sort of the two highlights of the lot that made me want to buy them. Uh, Sinbad sold a while back, and now Kong has sold. It's got the movie coming out, so as uh, Dom, the primetime treasure hunter, pointed out on my, uh, I, th I think it was on the Instagram post where I shared that I had sold this, he, he said, and he's right, Kong is going to start selling. So if you've got stuff, if you see stuff, King Kong, it usually does sell pretty well, but with the movie coming out and the hype, it's going to sell better. $60.29. It was free shipping because that was what the others had, and mine had a little bit of damage, so I had to be competitive, but it was only, it was just over $11 to ship it out. So still a pretty nice payday. Better payday, All-American Christie. This one going international, $125.73. It's going up to Canada. Of course, they paid shipping that through the eBay uh, standard international shipping. And then we have a viewer sale. We got Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly in a Breakfast at Tiffany's. You know the movie, you know the song, and you know the viewer probably. Mia bought this one. Mia, thanks so much. She said she doesn't collect Barbie. This is the first Barbie, but she does collect Aubrey Hepburn. Aubrey. Audrey Hepburn stuff. Um, and so she decided to pick this one up, sent me in an offer. Mia, yeah, I had to give you a better deal on it if I, I knew it was you when I looked at that offer. Uh, very, very grateful for that. So $39.99 plus shipping. That is on its way to you. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. That was one of the fav my favorites that I picked up. It just, it looked very much like her. It was just very elegant, very clean. I, 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 you know, I'm not super into the Barbies, but that Aub Audrey Hepburn, I wanted to call her Aubrey again. That Audrey Hepburn was really, really cool. And you know what else was cool was the Adams family. Both of them were sitting behind me in the last video. They're not anymore because they're 
Well, they're on the road somewhere. They're going out. Uh, Adam's family is actually headed to somewhere in California. That one sold for $80.39 plus shipping. And then we've got the Nigerian Barbie. This from the Barbies of the World collection. This one going to the UK for $28.63 plus shipping. Then we got a little sale that slipped in there, but a nice sale. These Craftsman V-Series combination ignition wrenches. These itty-bitty little wrenches, but, you know, people are looking for them. These vintage Craftsman wrenches, you can make decent money because you can get these things for really cheap at estate sales, garage sales, stuff like that. I uh, listed these as a pair for $9.47 plus shipping, and somebody took me up on it. And then the last thing that we've got that sold is this Francie doll. This is a pretty good one. I was getting quite a few international offers on this, a lot of them low balls, some of them in the ballpark. I actually had a couple of competing offers out at the same time on this one. And the one that won is Germany. This one, 115 euros. So after shipping, after fees, this one is going to land us about $98 or so. We have to pay a little bit extra fees. This is one of my web interpret listings. When you make a sale on web interpret, you pay 5% of your sale price. It's sort of like when you sell something on eBay through a promoted listing. You, you don't pay unless you sell it. So I do pay an extra 5%, but this is all profit now on these Barbies, so I was willing to come down a little bit on it. I think it was at about 128 or 130 euros right in that ballpark, $142 or something like that is what it came out to. So uh, after fees and shipping, like I said, basically coming in at 100 bucks, I'm good with that. That's all we got right now. I am heading back to uh, to the dollhouse. I'm actually going back on Wednesday. Today, if you're watching it the first day that it's out there, we're going to go back there. I don't know if the purchase is going to be as large as it's been. And now I'm going to start getting a little bit more picky. I'm going to start trying to get into some of her. She's got some dolls downstairs that some of them are between 150. I think there's one of them down there that's $300. There's some very high dollar ones down there, but they're, they're the pretty ones. And the pretty ones to her are the ones that she values. And so then in terms of what the price tag is on it, it goes up. So we'll see what I can pull out of there. I'm, I'm confident that we'll pull a few things out of there. And like I said, we did actually push past 3,000 subscribers. Comment down below. Um, it, just, it, just comment whatever you want. Doesn't matter. I'm not looking for a keyword. I'm not looking for anything like that. Just leave a comment down below. And here coming up in a few days, we will run a random comment generator on there. And uh, we will pick a winner. And then the winner sounds like everybody was pretty unanimous uh, for the most part. You guys want some swag. So we've got a Mountain Man t-shirt for whoever wins this thing. I've got size small, medium, large, extra large, and I've got a couple of double X's. So uh, th those are the sizes I've got. So we'll do that. Just comment down below. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up before you head down there. That always helps us out. And we're continuing to grow. We're almost at 3,100 now as I'm recording this. So that's awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up this week. I'm going to tell you about an app that I think is super beneficial for anybody reselling, especially if you're new, because there's always questions about, well, should I auction this or should I put it up for buy it now? I, I don't know what to do. There's an app that will help you come up with that answer. It's a fantastic tool to have in your tool belt. I, I think it's really, really good. I still use it sometimes. And I, I think it's something that more people should know about. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how to get white backgrounds on your photos. There's lots of cool stuff, some reseller tips. So I'm excited about this week's videos. And in order to get to those, I got to cut this one off now. So we're going to see you guys. Bye.